Hopefully you guys understand the importance of optimizing your Amazon pay-per-click campaigns. With that said, do you actually have a strategy to optimize your auto campaigns within your Amazon PPC? Hey, this is Nick Hodge with Sellers Arena. And in this video, we're gonna jump into Seller Central and I'm gonna show you a specific strategy that you can apply to your auto campaigns to get maximum results. Right now I'm in Seller Central and I'm already into one of the existing auto campaigns for one of our newer clients. And I really wanted to, to focus in on, you know, the performance of these auto campaign in regards to the different match types that are within the auto campaign and you know, how you can optimizing the bid within this campaign or maybe adjusting the budget for the overall campaign, et cetera, et cetera, or going in and doing negative exact matches, things like that. One really important key strategy that you can apply to this type of campaign now that you know, Amazon introduced the control over these different match types within these campaigns is splitting these out into different campaigns. So much like if you have a keyword campaign where you have two, maybe three, maybe four keywords that are doing really well, okay, doing a lot of sales, good ACoS, et cetera, or maybe the ACoS is bad, but you need to do some adjusting, but they're driving a lot of sales. Okay, same thing here. Say even if this ACoS is really bad, but it's driving a lot of sales, we just need to optimize that, that's fine. You know, with those keyword campaigns, for example, and the same thing can be applied here, those other keywords that aren't getting a lot of impressions, that aren't getting a lot of traffic, that maybe need a little more specific optimization specifically for that, that keyword, okay? Which, what do you do? You need to split them out into their own campaign. So, because Amazon may be just giving preferential traffic and treatment to those set of keywords that are already doing really well, that are already driving a lot of sales. You know, I've said this in another video, you gotta take those other keywords that just aren't getting anything and put them in their own campaign to give them a, a fair test. So the th same thing here, okay? Now, it looks like this specific match type, the substitutes, probably, I'm guessing in the past, wasn't doing well, which is why the bid has been reduced. But again, here, you know, Maybe we split this one out into its own campaign. So pause it here, put it in its own auto campaign for this specific product and test it with its own budget. And so we can really dial in what bid is gonna work best specifically for this match type. And it could be it still just doesn't work at all. Or it could be, you know, we retest it, it starts getting some sales and then you dig in and look at the, and doing some native exact matching on the keywords that are, you know, not converting very well, okay? So that's another option. Same thing here. It looks like, I mean, this one is getting a decent amount of traffic. All of these probably could do better on traffic. Probably need to work on the bidding for this one. Like these two here, probably need to be a little more aggressive on this one for sure. Low A cost, pretty low A cost. So we could probably get a little more aggressive, drive more traffic on those. This one here, again, you know, it hasn't spent a lot, but again, it's not doing much here. These are already getting a lot of decent amount of traffic. So maybe we split this one out also. Uh, maybe we split both of these two out into their own auto complements and substitutes campaign for further testing and then dial it in from there and then split them out into two separate ones if we have to. I mean, it's worth testing these things out. The main point is don't just turn on your auto campaign and just set it and forget it. Or, you know, if you see, you know, different match types within the auto campaign, not getting traffic, not getting a fair test, think about splitting those out and giving them a fair shot. So again, guys, definitely get in there, check your auto campaign, see if this is going on or when you're creating new campaigns, have this in mind for future optimizations, similar to your keyword campaigns, go and check those also. If you see keywords in there, not getting traffic, test them, move them out into move those keywords that are not getting traffic out into their own campaigns. And one thing I will say, if you are seeing something that's getting kind of average traffic in a campaign and you wanna test splitting that out, make sure you put it in the new campaign and make sure it gets plenty of traffic or you know at least the same amount or better before you cut off the original okay you don't want to cut off something that's already working okay, very important but yeah hopefully you got some value out of this guys make sure you drop me a like subscribe hit that notification bell and i will see you in the next one